On the back of this P500, here's where our primary hard drive is. This is what we're going to replace. This is where the vacant hard drive slot is if you want to uh, add it in, a, in addition to. Um, anytime you're adding RAM, hard drives, really it, doing any work on a laptop, you need to make sure that there's no power going to it. So make sure that the AC adapter is removed and then uh, we just have to remove the hard drive here. Or excuse me, the battery. So now there's no power and we're going to tackle this hard drive bay one with small Phillips screwdriver. Then there are two little Phillips head screws right here that are holding the hard drive caddy in place. Those have to be removed. So now we just have the cover with the two screws that kind of stay in there. And then these two hard drive caddy screws that we have to keep track of. So we'll put those somewhere safe. But that's really it, except for uh, the four that we're gonna take out and put right back in, so those will be easy to keep track of. The little um, plastic ear here that you can grab and slide it away from the connector. Hopefully you can see that. Here are the contact areas, and here's the port that they plug into. So it's just friction fit in. That's when the hard drive's installed. That's when it's released. And then you can also just hold this ear to remove it. Here's the old mechanical hard drive. It's a Hitachi HDD. And you just take out these four screws and save them because you're gonna install them into this new SSD. So you can see pretty clearly that this is the orientation. So we just need to remove these four screws, take this hard drive caddy off, put it onto this one, replace the four screws, and this new hard drive can be installed. So let's do that. These screws are in here really, really tight. So I might go get a different Phillips head. Okay, I grabbed a bigger screwdriver so I can get some more torque. And that's a piece of cake with this one. But I can move the smaller ones, spin them quicker. So I'll just use this to get it kind of loosened up. And So hard drive caddy slides right off like this. We will slide it right onto the new one. Like that, screws line up. Install the new screws, or the screws in the new hard drive. So, new one just goes in like that, just like we showed you on the old, out, and I'm gonna save this in case we did um, miss any data. We could put this into a uh, USB adapter. Essentially, it'll turn this serial ATA connector into a USB, so you can plug it into a computer and restore any data that we may have missed. Set that aside carefully for now. And we have to install the two little screws that hold this hard drive caddy in right here.
Okay, those are done. Place the hard drive cover. Place the battery there. and that locks it into place. Great. Now we have our new SSD installed. It's time to find your installation media, your Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 installation disk and uh, install the operating system, install Windows updates, restore the data, install whatever programs, printers that were on the machine before and enjoy the new speedy hard drive.